Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Grabo Pro Lifter 20. I have to admit, when this company reached out to me, I was so excited because I'm sort of a gadget girl. I mean, if there's something new and inventive that just makes sense, I wanna try it out. This product definitely checks all of those boxes and makes carrying heavy items such as tiles, stone pavers, drywall, glass, and furniture much easier. It's designed to work with dry, rough, and slightly porous materials. Here's what the kit that I have right here includes. Okay, it's going to come in a nice, durable nylon carrying bag. The carrying bag includes obviously the tool itself. Now this is a portable electric vacuum lifter and it does have a digital pressure gauge and auto pressure sensors which turn the pump on and off to ensure a constant vacuum. When you flip the tool over, you'll notice that it does come with a foam rubber seal, which is pre-installed on the tool, but you can order replacements if you need to. Also, there is this hard cover. So make sure that you hang onto this so that you can store it and keep that seal from getting damaged. The tool comes with a rechargeable battery, which is right here. The battery charger is over on this side in a pouch. So here are the replacement filters. It looks like there's little gaskets. You can either clean the filter with compressed air or insert a replacement pad. Do not, under any circumstances, clean with water. You'll completely ruin the filter. Say you're uh, in another country besides the U.S that uses a different setup. You can unlock them by turning this. That's what those are about. So if you've never seen this product in action before, it's basically a portable electric vacuum lifter that can lift up to 375 pounds, not like I can lift that, or 170 kilograms. This would be an essential tool if you're a drywall or a landscaper, you carry large sheets of glass, say you're a bathroom shower installer, this would be perfect. You're gonna be thinking, where has this been all my life? Here are some of the features and stats, and then I'll show it to you in action. The body has a digital pressure gauge located on the handle, so you could easily see the pressure and weight reading. It comes equipped with automatic pressure sensors that ensure a constant vacuum, and the airflow is 20 liters per minute. The rated power is 16 watts. The lithium ion battery is 14.8 volts. The charger input voltage is 60 hertz. The battery charging time is two hours and the nonstop running time on a full charge is 90 minutes. The max vacuum rate is 11.6 PSI. It weighs 3.2 pounds, including the battery, and measures 11.8 by 7.2 by 4.7 inches. You can use this in temperatures ranging from 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which God help you if you're working in that hot of a condition. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the materials listed in the manual. For instance, if you install glass shower doors, Double check the perpendicular and parallel holding force guidelines that are listed, but always refer to the pressure displayed on the LED display over the list. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's a perfect example why you need to check the manual and the pressure. Um, I didn't, I was just randomly going around and sticking it to things for purposes of the video and that window broke, that glass is too, too thin apparently. You can use this on uneven and slightly porous surfaces. For added versatility, the Grabo Pro is designed with four steel lifting lugs positioned on both sides of the handle so you can add lifting straps or other accessories to suit your specific needs. There is also an arm extension made by Grabo that can be purchased for around $99. It allows you to pick the items up off the ground without having to bend over. If you're a cabinet installer, my Instagram friend, Izzy Swan, has an accessory line of cabinet and vacuum plates that are just indispensable. Here are a few helpful guidelines and how to operate it. You'll wanna plan ahead, know the weight of your object, know how you'll lift it if you'll need help or possibly two Grabos. Make sure the work area is flat, dry and clear of debris and check your path. There are more lifting techniques to go over in the brochure, so make sure you read the manual as I'm not going to be covering absolutely everything. So first thing, make sure you fully charge the battery before use. Slide the power on and off switch. The status indicator lights up red and the display shows the amount of available charge 
and current pressure. Do not operate it on a low battery and if the last bar indicator flashes red, that means the battery needs change. As an option, you can press the measurement unit selector to change the pressure unit from bar to PSI and the weight units from kilogram to pounds. Position the Grabo firmly against the surface of the object you want to lift. Press the green motor power button. The run status indicator will flash red. A seal is created in seconds, you can actually see it. When the negative pressure reaches the maximum level, the run status indicator turns green and the motor stops automatically. It's then safe to lift and move the object. When you are finished moving your material, go ahead and press the green motor power to stop the vacuum pump. Then press the red vacuum release button to break the seal and release the object. That is a very important step. When I first looked at this tool, I assumed you just needed to hit the red to release and the green to go. Um, but make sure that you're actually pressing that green button twice and then red. set that I have sells for around $299 and I'll include an affiliate link in the description of this video if you're interested in purchasing this product or any of the other Grabo products. It comes with a full factory warranty of 12 months but if you register your product on their website you can extend the warranty to 18 months. If you have any questions that I didn't cover let me know in the comments and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook as well. Please follow me there. And as always, I thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Until next time, take care.